Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I've been MIA for the longest time now, but I'm back, I'm better than ever, ready to film a YouTube video. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my wardrobe essentials. So over the course of lockdown, I've been ordering more and more clothes. So kind of like a haul and kind of like essential pieces as well, because I also had my birthday in lockdown. Um, my birthday was March 26th, I don't know why I just forgot, <laughs> um, and we went on lockdown a few days before it, so I had loads of outfits ordered, ready to go out, and they've still not been worn, so I'm going to show them today. I've already tried to film this video twice, I lost all the footage yesterday, it was ready to be, it was fully edited, ready to be uploaded, and I lost all the footage, so we're going to try again. I um, fixed my lighting situation. My parents got me a Hollywood mirror. I'll link it down below if um, anyone's interested in it. And I'll also link all the items if I can find them all. Um, but yeah, I'll quickly show you. So yeah, it just looks like this. So I don't think, well, I hope we won't have the um, up and down lighting situation anymore. But I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first few items I'm going to show you are from Shein. Shein? Shein? I've seen so many different people say it so many different ways, and I don't know which way to pronounce it, but I call it Shein, so we'll just go with that. Um, but yeah, this website has been around for such a long time, but I swear it used to get dragged. Um, Like, it used to be a bit like a wish, but it's been all over TikTok recently. Again, I mentioned TikTok because I'm just obsessed with it. And I know like Jordan Lips go and upload a video of it, so I placed an order on myself and I was not disappointed. Okay, the first item of clothing I'm going to be showing you I am obsessed with. I love this so much. It's this white kind of cardigan-y material, I'd say, but really lightweight. Lettuce hem, sleeves and bottom of the top. Uh, button up. I love this. Oh my god. Um, with mum jeans, with flares, with anything, it's just great. It's that super TikTok style top and it was so inexpensive and you can get it in different colours too, which I am definitely going to do. It's a slight bit see-through depending on like the lighting. If I had it on now, it would probably be a bit see-through because of the amount of lights in front of me, but in like your general day, you can get away with it. Second piece I'm going to show you is this mint green spaghetti strap crop top i love the straps on this and the material is like um a scuba material a bit like a bikini and um, but again this is so flattering fits on the body really really nicely there's not too much to say about it but the color range of these sort of tops is there's so many you can get whatever color and i think it was like four pound it really was inexpensive for the quality as well it's this red square neck crop top just looks like this again quite basic but super flattering again, goes with everything, kind of sits like this, so it's not too low down at all. And it's not too cropped either. I think these kind of tops, they were perfect in terms of like where they sat on your body. And again, it was like five pound. So really recommend that as well. This quality is a bit, mm, bit hit and miss, but it does the job. So it's this baby blue, ruched in the middle, little crop top. Um, when I placed my order on Shein, I was going for more summery clothes. I also got some black cycling shorts, which there's no point showing, but 10 out of 10. Scuba material. This isn't the scuba material, this is just normal. Um, but yeah, the cycling shorts aren't see-through. So if you're looking for a good pair of cycling shorts, Shein, from my opinion, is really good. Um, but yeah, this top. Really like it. You can kind of sit it here or sit it off the shoulder. You can do both. My only big issue with it, and again, good range of colours, but my only big issue with it is the tie. Why Why is it that long? I've literally, because obviously you then tie it in a bow, I've literally quadruple knotted it, it's still so long. Am I just styling it wrong? I'm so tempted to cut it shorter because it honestly comes down like past like your waist. I don't know, but it does what it's meant to do, so... Next, I've got two pieces I'm going to show you from Miss Guided. I'm very much an online shopper kind of person. I don't really shop in like Topshop or what's it one called? New Look. Um, I'm more of like pretty little thing, Miss Guided, nasty gal. But yeah, this is um, Miss Guided. So this is like an essential item I think everyone needs. Um, and I got this for my birthday, ready to go out because I'm not a dress type of person. If I'm going out to the club or for like drinks, I'd rather wear jeans, heels, a nice top. 
and something like this so i know this will come in handy it is i will show it now a suede biker jacket really hard to kind of show but it's got pockets it's got a belt just on the sides like the belt doesn't go all the way around the top um, and it obviously zips but i don't think you really wear these zipped anyway i know what i want i will say get it in a size up from what you normally are i got mine in eight and it was so tight so i'd say get it in size up so this is a 10 fits perfect quality is really great and i think they're only about 20 pound i don't think they're mega expensive so yeah it's got lining in the inside so it's really great for summer as well because it's not too heavy so i think that's a great item to have in your wardrobe next item i've got is from misguided obviously and it is the riot high rise mum jeans now these i'd say size down so again i got these in an eight um and i had to purchase them in a six but they fit perfectly so there's not much about them they're in like the acidy wash kind of color pockets front and back and then they have a frayed hem on the legs ankle bit so you can optionally I, i've been tempted to do it kind of frayed them a little bit more because it's a bit hit and miss and um, but i rolled them up anyway but yeah they fit like a dream i put a belt on with it as well just for style purposes really you don't really need a belt so yeah really recommend them i got them when they were discounted so i got them for 15 pound i think they're 20 to 25 pound usually which for a pair of jeans this quality is really good because i used to always buy um top shop skinny jeans the joni jeans oh my god i don't know why i did um i've literally once i've got these now these kind of pants all i used to wear i was such a basic clothing person was leggings and really tight skinny jeans no more no because you could pay like 40 pound for a pair of top shop black joni jeans and buy your second wash they'd be great it just isn't worth it looking on sites like this the denim is actually really good quality I'm going to show you a little accessory because I'm not really an accessory person. I wear jewellery but don't buy loads. Um, I'm just going to show you this now because it's from Missy Empire. It's my only item from Missy Empire but I love it. So it's a bag. Um, I don't really wear bags often at all. This is like my staple bag. I don't need another bag. This is a very famous... Do I try and pronounce that? Un voyage for pays de merveille. I am keeping that in for funny purposes i don't have to say it i'll link it down below for what it's called but it's a um clear plastic bag you can get it in black white i think you can get it in red now but i love it again quality is great it's got the detachable strap so you can wear it across the body or take the strap off and just hold it so that's really great for pictures as well but loads of space inside it really great like the gold detailing as well there's not much to say about it i just thought i'd show it because i'm pretty sure it's quite inexpensive as well and it lasts obviously because of the material really really well now the last items of clothing i'm going to be showing you are all from pretty little thing um pretty little thing is probably what i shop on the most so this is like a mixture of essential items that you you know you kind of pick out your wardrobe all the time and what i got for my birthday as well so oh oh kind of all around so to start with, I'm going to show you this turtleneck sweater. Now, I know we're going into summer, but like I said, essential. I mean, I'm wearing one now because we should be going into summer. And I filmed this yesterday when it was sunny. The light was so much better. I look a lot paler because it is so cloudy outside. There was no sun coming in at all. Anyway, this is like a knitted turtleneck sweater. I love this. I wear this all the time with like jeans, flares, anything. That's it. An item of clothing that is in the wash as well is a pair of flares. They are the Pretty Little Thing nibbed, nibbed, knitted ribbed, <laughs> nibbed, <laughs> um, black flares. Um, and I've had them for probably like a year now and they wear perfectly. So I recommend flares from there. And I think once you wear them, you won't go back. Anyway, this, I love it. There's not really much to say about it, but I like the pattern on it. And then it's plain on the back and it's got a turtleneck that i just roll down once i think quite like it high but yeah i just think it's a really cute styling piece um that you know kind of gets slept on so i thought i'd include it then i've got more of a layering piece this is a denim jacket i think any denim jacket is great for a new wardrobe 
Um, I did have a Topshop blue one that's cropped, but it is so tight, it's literally not washed well at all. Whereas this is perfect. This is the oversized boyfriend denim jacket in black. So it's huge and it's quite heavy, but it's just got your gold detailing, your pockets on the side and your pockets on the front. And I love it. I love wearing it over a hoodie. You can wear it in the summer just as like an extra piece if it gets a little bit cold. I love it. I think it's so nice. So yeah, really good quality denim as, as well. And then whilst I'm talking about layering, oh my god, I lied. I have two more pieces from Misguided. <gasps> oh well, we'll just keep going. I've got the Playboy collection from Misguided, which I am obsessed with. If someone could please just give me that whole collection, my life would be complete. I love it. I'm not even exaggerating. I actually love it. I really, really do recommend it. It is expensive, but I think the whole style and aesthetic is just worth it. Uh, this is the, it's got stain on it, but well, it's not a stain, it just needs to go in the wash. I'd literally have just been living it in a lockdown, so please can we just ignore that? But it is the grey dress style hoodie. So it's just got the little Playboy bunny embroidered on the front, which I literally saw a TikTok of someone removing that because they thought it looked flashy. No, it can stay. <laughs> so it's really plain, as you know, as you might know, it's some quite a plain person. And then party is in the back, if we can get to it. Oh, God. Can we see? I really don't know if we can see. There you go. <laughs> so it's like a magazine cover print. It says collector's edition um, of the Playboy like robot. So, yeah, I really love this because you can wear it on its own with a belt wrapped around. You can wear it going out, dress it up with heels. You can put the jacket on top of it, then the bag across. It's just such an outfit that you can literally wear lounging about or dress up. So zero to 100, wear it all the time, as we can see by the multiple stains all over it. Oh my God, you need to wash. We're gonna ignore it. I had to show it, I couldn't not. Then I'm gonna move on to more of a dressier piece. So this is, I honestly don't know what this is called, but I know I can link it down below. I got this for my birthday and it is a sweetheart neck, as you can see, um, puffed sleeves, I'm gonna call it. And it's got like the corset detail here. I'm gonna just put it on like this. It's in like a sandy color. It looks more khaki on camera. Um, but yeah, it's got the little tie wrap thing so you can tie it and then tie it in a bow. My other issue again, these are mega long. Like what is this about? Why, why did they do them so long? I really do not know um but yeah i love this i can just picture this with the mum jeans a pair of heels and that bag and we're good to go so love this inexpensive it's like a paper baggy material i'm gonna call it um but still super thick like it's not like see-through or anything so love that bit more of a casual piece again um but just staple i literally wore it today i throw it on all the time and it's just the pretty little thing hoodie really in sand i think my shade is it's just got the embroidered pretty little thing logo on the front not much to say about it i just think it's a good quality hoodie super fleecy washes really well can wear it with anything fits on your body really nice you know when you get those hoodies that just fit you in all the wrong places this is really good going back to tiktok i will start mentioning it one day has anyone else seen the um videos on the pretty little thing hoodies t-shirts and joggers are actually from amazon i think it's june um no I don't know what it is fruit no i'm not even gonna try <laughs> but yeah apparently like they just use them so i feel like i think i'm gonna try it because these hoodies are like 20 25 pound which isn't too bad but if i can get them for a fiver from amazon then i'm gonna do that instead so i mean let me know if you want to see a video of me testing that because i will totally do that because i'm equally as intrigued okay my next item of clothing is from pretty little thing as well and it is these sand coloured cargo pants they are. I love them. I've not really had a chance to wear them yet, but I have so many outfits planned to wear them with. And I will say, I don't know if I'd say size down. They fit perfectly in my leg, but as you can see, the waist is just too wide. But with a belt, it kind of kind of just does this in the back, really. And you can't tell. So yeah, love these. It's that corduroy card material, and it's got loads of pockets, front, back leg and then the bottom is like elasticated i don't know what this is called but fits tightly let's say 
so yeah really love this i can't wait to wear these in like summery time not when it's too hot but with like a pair of timberlands and just a cool top i think it's just really sick they are a bit more expensive because of the material but the quality and then last but not least i have a, another thing from the playboy collection um, this is just a statement t-shirt. What I'm trying to get across here with this being essential is just having a statement t-shirt because you can wear them with anything. Cycling shorts, flares, jeans, on the road if you get them big enough and they just look so sick. And if you just more accessorise, so say you just wore a statement t-shirt as like more of a dress with a belt and then got loads of layered necklaces like a chain, a lock, loads of rings, jewellery like... I think it just looks so sick and you're not even trying so <laughs> gonna put this in there because this is my favorite and i reach for it probably the most in my wardrobe i don't know what it's called but it is just the it's a mess playboy black it's a long t-shirt it's got the same bunny on the front and then the back is of course where it's at i don't actually know what this says but it's just in the bold white font writing it really stands out so of that i think everyone needs some sort of statement t-shirt in their life and you will honestly i promise you will reach for the most in your wardrobe okay and that's it that's all i'm gonna really show for this video i could keep going i have too many clothes for one person um i will clear it all out and we'll we'll see let me know if you want a part two and i will do one for different like occasions let's say um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this one and took something away from it because i promise all of these items of clothing will not let you down you will reach for them the most in your wardrobe and to be honest i don't even wear the rest of my clothes i don't even reach for it it's mainly these so yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'll be back next week for another video